Ezra Miller has been a complete and total disaster for Warner Brothers. And over the past few weeks and months, we've seen terrible headlines. Ezra Miller arrested multiple times, a restraining order out against him, him throwing a chair at a woman and hitting her in the head. That's who Ezra Miller is. He's an insane lunatic. And finally, it seems like he's gone over the edge. He's gone off the deep end, and now he doesn't care what happens to him. But now we're finally seeing video from that first arrest in Hawaii when he was at a bar, arrested for drunk and disorderly, after, you know, lunging at people, spitting on people, wrestling microphones out of young women's arms. That, that's what Ezra Miller is doing. We're about to see the confrontation with the police, and it's hilarious. I, I guess there's really no other way to put it. It's hilarious. Ezra Miller claims that he started filming it for NFTs. He starts claiming that the person that he spit on claims that they're a Nazi. He started saying that uh, he was transgender. I don't want to be searched by a man. Ezra Miller is a lunatic. And the more stuff that comes out like this, the worse it's going to get for Warner Brothers. But let's, let's watch this arrest video, this body cam video that's been put together. Here we go. No, this brother, I was playing darts. Okay. And then what? Uh, with, with my good girl. Okay. And he called right up to me and just like... He started shouting No, no! no. <laughs> I, I not to spit on him. Okay, so he spit in your like, face. Two! And I was okay. like, what's up, cuz? Okay. Like, what's up? Okay. And then I like, jumped in and held him back. <laughs> yeah? So these are the two guys. They're being blurred out, obviously, uh, for, for privacy reasons, right? These are the guys who Ezra Miller had the problem with in the bar. You okay, know, spit in your face for no reason. For, yeah. I was like, we are constantly. Yeah. Okay. I feel like he thought he was somebody else. No, 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 no. I got assaulted and I started filming. Okay. Let's, talk, the video. let's talk stories outside. Let's talk stories outside. And Ezra Miller and Ezra Miller is on the warrants, but he's crushing for them. Mabel, 29, Kilo, 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 Kilo. So this is Ezra, and he, he said they started filming for NFTs. What are you saying here? I got assaulted in this bar twice in a row. I filmed myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. What's your name? What's your badge number? Tell me your name and your badge number. What key? Ezra. Full name, full badge number. Tell me your name and your badge number. Tell me your name and your badge number. We don't touch me. So there's, I mean, there's probably like five cops here. There's five police officers that responded to this. Immediately, Ezra just starts getting aggressive. Says, I start filming myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. Okay, got it. And now he's just, you know, screaming at them, name and badge number. One of them, get, like, they're giving him it. Like, the one guy said his name, and he's about to give his badge number as well. But it's not enough to calm Ezra Miller down. Tell me your name and your badge number. Now, what they did cut out here, there is full body cam footage of Ezra Miller just going down a street, like blocks and blocks and blocks down a street, refusing to listen to the police, refusing to get off the middle of the road, all of this stuff. And eventually they put him in handcuffs. I mean, just, I mean, arrested for disorderly conduct. Yeah. I was assaulting you in this right? Okay. I was you said get off the road and get off the road. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I was going to get off the road. I did. So what did I do wrong? Getting arrested for The guy in that bar declared himself as a Nazi. I have it on film and he attacked me. Okay. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a couple minutes into this altercation, that man declared himself a Nazi. I have it on video. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, Ezra. I claim my Ninth Amendment rights to not be unlawfully persecuted for a crime of no designation, disorderly conduct being something I am unguilty of. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched and seized on no probable cause that you will not be able to offer in a court of law. He's going like a full sovereign citizen on him. That's what Ezra Miller's doing. Law. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched and seized. Please do not touch my ring. It doesn't come off. Okay. You'll get it right I claim my Fourth Amendment sir, rights sir, to sir, not be right search here, and okay? seizure. Just letting you know it's going to be right Unlawfully. Here. The ring? It's the flash ring. The flash ring that he wore in the Flash movie, that's what he was wearing. That's what he's so upset about not having. Without probable cause. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be unlawful. Hey, you just touched my penis. Please don't do that.
You, <laughs> you just touched my penis. Please don't do that. And the cops almost can't keep it together, I think. I'm not transgender, non binary. I don't want to be searched by a man. I'm transgender, non binary, and I don't want to be searched by a man. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights. These are Nerf guns, just in case you worry that they're bullets. Those are Nerf bullets. Thank you for letting me They're fake like and they are a toy. Thank you for letting me know. There's my belt buckle and my Nerf bullets. I appreciate that. Please don't take them from me. The flash ring means a lot to me. It's very valuable. He had a Nerf gun and Nerf bullets on him. This, uh, Ezra Miller, again, um, getting an extremely confrontation with police, making up stories once again, um, starting to use the way he identifies as some sort of victimhood thing, right? All, all of a sudden. And that's, that's why it's so non-believable sometimes that Ezra Miller, who misgenders non-binary people all the time in private conversations, that's why it's so hard to believe or respect him and take that seriously because at the drop of a hat, all of a sudden, I'm transgender non-binary. I don't want to be searched by a man. He, he uses it to his advantage at any opportunity. It's pathetic and disgusting. But the more of this that comes out, there will be more videos, I'm sure. I'm sure more stuff's going to come out about Ezra Miller because he's a nutcase. He can't stop doing this. He's going to continue to do this. And Warner Brothers is sitting there wondering what they're going to do. Are they going to replace him? Rumors are they haven't made that decision yet, according to some reports. Ezra Miller will be a problem for them for a very, very long time. And now they're stuck with him. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.